Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Tuesday, August 9th. It's the 12th week after Pentecost and week 6 in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 94 and 95, and Judges 13, verse 1 to 15. And please join me in singing the second verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Nobis. Our God is great above all gods, the ruler of creation. In your hands are all the earth and seas, for you have made them. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, O Most High God, to whom vengeance belongs. Show yourself. Hallelujah. Psalms 94 and 95, and please recite them with me. Hallelujah, O Most High God, to whom vengeance belongs. Show yourself. Lift yourself, O judge of the earth, give to the proud the reward they deserve. O God, how long, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall they utter and speak arrogant things? The workers of evil boast of themselves. They break your people in pieces, O God, and afflict your heritage. They slay the widow and the stranger and murder the orphan. They say God does not see. The God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel does not care. <clears throat> when will you understand, you brutes and fools? When will you be wise? Can the one that made the ear not hear? Can the one that formed the eye not see? Can the one that chastises the nations not correct? Can the one that teaches knowledge not know? God knows the thoughts of mortals, that they are vanity. Blessed are they whom you correct, O God, and teach them the wisdom of your law, that you may give rest from adversity until the pit be dug for the wicked. For you will not cast off your people, neither will you forsake your inheritance. But judgment will once again be for the righteous, and the upright in heart shall follow it. Who will rise for me against the evildoers? <clears throat> Who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Unless God had been my help, my soul had almost been lost. When I said my foot slipped, your mercy, O God, held me up. When many worries fill my mind, your comforts delight my soul. Shall the throne of evil have fellowship with you, which makes iniquity into a law? They gather against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. But you are my defense, my God, the rock of my refuge. And you shall bring upon them their own iniquity, and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yes, the Most High, our God, shall destroy them. Hallelujah, O come, let us sing to God the Most High. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Come, let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving, and make a joyful noise to God with psalms. For you are a great God and a great ruler above all gods, and in your hands are the depths of the earth, the strength of the hills also. The sea is yours, for you made it, and your hands formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down, and kneel before God our Maker, for we are God's people and the sheep of God's pasture. Today, if you hear God's voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your ancestors tempted me, proved me, and saw my work. Forty years I was grieved with this generation, and said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. And so I swore in my anger they should not enter into my rest. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, O Most High God, to whom vengeance belongs. Show yourself. Hallelujah. A reading from the book of Judges, chapter 13, beginning at verse 1. Now the Israelites again did what was evil in the sight of Yahweh. And the Most High gave them into the hand of the Philistines for forty years. There was a certain man of Zorah, of the tribe of the Danites, whose name was Manoah, and his wife was barren and had no children. And the angel of the Most High appeared to the woman and said to her, Although you are barren, having borne no children, you shall conceive and bear a son. Be careful not to drink wine or strong drink, or to eat anything unclean. For you shall conceive and bear a son. And no razor is to come on his head, for the boy shall be a Nazarite to God from birth. It is he who shall begin to deliver Israel from the hand of the Philistines. Then the woman came and told her husband, A man of God came to me, and his appearance was like that of an angel, most awe-inspiring. I did not ask him where he came from, and he did not tell me his name. But he said, You shall conceive and bear a son. So then drink no wine or strong drink, and eat, eat nothing unclean. For the boy shall be a Nazarite to God from birth to the day of his death. And then Manoah entreated the Most High and said, O Most High, I pray, let the man of God whom you sent come to us again and teach us what we are to do concerning the boy who will be born. God listened to Manoah, and the angel of God came again to the woman as she sat in the field. But her husband Manoah was not with her. So the woman ran quickly to get her husband, and the man who came to me the other day has appeared to me. Manoah got up and followed his wife and came to the man and said to him, Are you the man who spoke to this woman? And he said, I am. And then Manoah said, Now when your words come true, what is to be the boy's rule of life? What is he to do? And the angel of Yahweh said to Manoah, Let the woman give heed to all I said to her. She may not eat of anything that comes from the vine. She is not to drink wine or strong drink or eat any unclean thing. And she is to observe everything that I commanded her. And Manoah said to the angel of Yahweh, Allow us to detain you and prepare a kid for you. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. And please respond, or please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness. Let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. 
Gather us and keep us as your flock, O shepherd of Israel, that we may ever sing your praises, for you are the rock of our salvation. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.